Hey friends, welcome to ifactner.com computer networking tutorial. Today we are going to discuss about com uh, computer networking topologies and the topic, central topic of our discussion would be bus topology. Guys and girls, you can think of a topology as a layout. That is how our computer network is laid out. There can be different kinds of topologies in, in which uh, uh, your computer network can be laid out. Number one is bus topology. Number two is ring topology. Number three is star topology. And uh, you can also have mesh topology and uh, these are the four major types of topologies we can use to lay out our networks star so uh, friends there can be uh, uh, physical topologies that is how your network is physically laid out and there can be logical topologies that is how the traffic is basically uh, traffic is uh, the traffic follows certain path to reach to its destination so uh, but for the sake of simplicity friends we will consider that the physical and the logical topology uh, in our example are is same. So let's uh, start our discussion about bus technology. As uh, 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 bus, the word bus uh, depicts that it should be a straight line. Therefore, in the bus topology, we have got a straight backbone and our terminals or our nodes, that is our PC, our laptop, our printer, our server in the network, uh, our workstation they are all connected to that main backbone and uh, in the bus topology we have got terminators at both the ends so how does this bus topology works let's suppose this computer A would like to send a request to com server. So it will send a request and that request would go everywhere in the network. So it would go to the terminal terminator and the work of the terminator is to terminate the signal. It would go to our printer and uh, the printer would say, no, it's not for me. And then uh, the request would go to the laptop, which would also say, it's not for me. Then it would go to our server, and the server would say, yes, it is for me, and I would honor that request. But our traffic would not stop over there. It would still go to all the uh, nodes in the network, and until and unless it reaches the terminator and this terminator would terminate that traffic or that packet or that signal so this is how uh, traffic uh, travels in, in in the bus topology so friends now do you see the problem that uh, bus topology is not very efficient And if in the bus topology our 
terminals, one of our terminals goes down, then that packet or those packets or those that traffic would not terminate uh, at the end and it would bounce back and it would just confuse all other uh, 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 our terminals and it will create congestion and our network may go down and in the bus topology if our backbone uh, is uh, basically cut in the middle then these terminals would not be able to communicate with uh, with each other so backbone is uh, if backbone is hurt then bus topology cannot work so these are the disadvantages of bus topology but there are other uh, there are advantages of bus topology as well the most com the most important one is that it is easy to set up for small computers for small networks and number two that it's it uh, it is cost effective that we would need just some wires to make a bus topology but uh, uh, nowadays the physical bus topology is not being used but uh, uh, still logical bus topology uh, is being used in many scenarios so thank you very much uh, guys and girls for joining me for this tutorial I will see you in the next tutorial uh, and we will discuss about the ring topology. Oh, wow, what a beautiful ring. Take care. Bye.